Hi everybody. All right, this will be probably my first tutorial on how to fix something. I think um, today we're working with the Akai MPK49. Now I bought this thing. When was it? 2009. Eight. 2008. Yes, I bought this thing in 2008. I paid about was it four something? It's, yeah pretty much for something for it with the taxes and everything and I was gonna learn how to play the piano I was also going to use this to make my beats and it worked well for a while I haven't used it like when I first bought it I bought it just to have the box basically because it just sat there I took it out of the box the first night I was like oh this is so cool I'm gonna do this and I took it out and it sat for about a couple of months, basically. It sat for a couple of months. Then I was like, you know what? I'm going to take a lesson on how to use a um, software. So I basically bought, um, I basically um, took a class. It was like $1,000 to learn how to do producing and reason. And I'm surprised my job actually paid for it because it has nothing to do with the job. So I took the class. So I learned this, and I was like, okay, I can finally use my keyboard. My friend's been asking me since ever since I got it. They would ask me, please let me borrow it. Let me get it, let me get it again. I was like, nah, I don't want it to break. But eventually, it broke. Um, there, I guess you could say that there are some def there are some design flaws with this thing. First, um, the Quantinous thing is kind of crazy. Um, the pads were crazy which that was the first modification I did to this thing I did that about a year later because you know when you, you can hit the, the pad and it wouldn't do anything like it will be like soft so basically there was some video on YouTube where you can put electrical tape on it and I did that and so far look at it, you just press it and I can do that easily like before you had to just like press on it, press on it, press on it just to get a sound, so I fixed that. So the problem I'm having right now with this stupid thing, and uh, I even threatened, I was like, you know what? Uh, on Twitter, Akai, they have an account. I was like, you know what? Um, I guess I'm gonna go with M Audio because this stupid thing is not working. So they actually sent me a message and they said they'll help me out, but whatever. Um, the problem I am having today, well now, for the last year, which is why I haven't played with it, is the keys. Like first, they stick it up. If you take the tape off, it sticks up. That's one of the problems. That's a common problem with the stupid thing. Um, but that's not, I can deal with it. I can deal with the tape. The problem I'm having is this, watch this. No F unless you press down it like, wow. No F unless you press down it like that. Also on my G. The rest of the keys seem to be fine. It just, that irks me because it's 49 keys if that and I need the full keyboard. And when I'm working on samples and stuff like that, it really sucks. Check this out. Okay, you're not gonna check that out for me? No? Let's try that again. Okay, it threw me off guard because I guess like sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. See? Excuse me? Now you want to give me trouble? Alright, just find another key. That's why I did that. It's another key. I don't know if it's dust under there or something, but something is crazy in it. But um, my pads are fine.
so what you're gonna need... <sighs> I don't do that. Um, ah, I just had my tools. That's crazy. Anyway, what you're gonna need is to take apart... Push these up here. Move this right there. Put that right there. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Now to take this... Whoa. The humidity in this room is really messing up everything. All right. What you guys will need... What I had... I don't know where it is. This always happens. Like, I didn't move it. I had a screwdriver right here. Just pretend this is a flathead screwdriver. I mean... Here we go. What you will need is a Phillips screwdriver and you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 screws. Now, I wasn't going to film this, but after I seen like how many bolts this is, I was like, you know what, I might as well do a video. So what you want to do is just start by taking these apart. <whistles> You're right. I bought this for something and I can't remember but it comes in handy for this. Alright. Now it would seem that there's a screw missing here. Now these, these little small screws right here, they actually hold your keyboard down, I believe. It's been a while, almost two years since I took it apart. But it's actually holds your keyboards down. So I'm not gonna take those off just yet. Put that right here. But you wanna go across the middle. Can you see this? Ah! All right, so we're gonna take these. Okay. Your screws, remember the sizes. Come on. If you want to know how to properly take apart your keyboard, there is a video on YouTube. I'm not sure the link. Um, I'll probably put the link in here if I can find it again. But there's a link that shows you how to properly untake it. Like um, I think you can look up um MPD hack or MPK hack, keyboard hack, keys hack, trigger, pads, pads hack, that's what it is. So I'm going to put all these little screws here like so. Make sure the big ones are off. Take the tape. Da 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 da. Okay. Let's turn it upside down. Let me turn it up right. Now you gotta be very careful when you're taking this off because there's are the um the little wires and they will break easily. There was a little trick. Okay. So you wanna be very, very careful of these. What I'm gonna do. Actually, I'm not even going to bother with that. I'm not even going to take that apart. Let's move some around. So I really... Lay that right there. Great. Excellent. All right. Okay. I do see some dust. 
Oh wow. I don't think this has anything to do with Oh, it just came off completely. That's that's what that is. All right. What you're also going to need is um ultra duster. It uh you whatever. It's air in a can basically. And what I'm going to try to do is See, I want to take all of these off. You ever take something apart and like, like, boy, think, think like, boy, I do not want to put this back together. It is kind of dusty here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this thing back up. If you don't want to know what you're doing, I advise you against plugging this thing up. Actually, I don't even know what I'm doing, but so what? Okay. Let me get some keys. All right, let's look at this. So this this plastic like little rubber things here. All right, so we do have dust under the keys, but it, it's there's nothing to indicate what's going on or why. I guess it's like basically CDE. All right, so I guess I'm gonna take this E off. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray this with, uh, since I got it open here. Make sure it's air. Do not shake this thing because it's, it's liquid, basically. Do not tilt it either. Nothing, nothing. Come on. <sighs> so this is where I shut the camera off and I look around here and see what could be causing a problem. I'll be back once I find a problem. This could take all night. I was, I took one of the wires, I took both of the connectors out, and they actually have glue on them. <laughs> okay, they have glue on them, so I, I ripped this stupid thing. So I'm going to see if I can fix it. So you guys, be careful when you're doing that. If you're going to take this, you're going to try to attempt this yourself. I'm probably the only one who has this problem, who knows, but anyway. If you're going to take this apart, be careful of these, because it did break. I guess it's very cheap. So I'm going to find a way to put that back together. But I'm, I'm not going to let that stop me. But I did have to take the keyboard apart, the actual keys. And you see here, there's a lot of dust here. Which I'm going to use the magic duster to dust. Does that work? Yes, it does. It's actually dust away. And I'm going to dust, I'm actually going to dust the uh, bottom of it too. But just be very careful of that. Um... There are dust in, in these little holes thing where you uh where it does connect to these so that could be the problem, I'm not sure. Um so um don't start taking apart your keyboard yet until I actually finish. Just wanna give you guys gonna take that.
Thank you. I should have gotten another air in a can because this is going to run out. Now, um, carefully, carefully, carefully lift it up and just spray it in between the little holes. And the keys. Just short bursts, that's all you have to do with these things. Just short bursts, you don't want to hold on to it because you will waste it out. Perfect. Okay. All right. Now, um, you see these things? It clicks on. I don't know if it clicks on if it's like oh, a tiny some glue that's on here. It looked like it's like a glue. I don't know if I can stick it back on here. Oh, nah. So I don't want to take it off completely because if I can't get it back on here in a matchup, that would suck. So I'm just gonna finish cleaning these. And I'm going to fix the piece I broke, and then I'm going to put it back together, and we'll see what happens from there. Alright guys, when taking apart, when taking the keys off, you just take these, these springs in the back, they hold on your keyboard. Um, how you take the keys off, actually off the, uh, whatever you call it, down. Lift up, lift up from the back, and go down. Do you have these? Be very, very careful. These things are very, very sensitive. They will break. These are the things. See those? These are the things that cause your keyboard to stick up. These are very fragile. Um, cheap, I guess. But they, these will what make sure. Um, these will hold down your keys. So be very careful when you're taking these off. Okay. So you want to go lift up and go down. Lift up, bring it like a lift up, and then bring it down here. Lift down and down. Okay. Now what I did was number these so you won't get lost. Even though it shows you like um you have A B C D, A B C D. They're um here and they're also on this little strip thing at the bottom. This is very very dusty and I think if I clean this off it actually will work. And it's to all right. So I'm. Almost finished putting it back together. I cleaned everything off. Got the dust out. Out of um, I'm almost out of the dusty crap. But um, I was able to glue crazy glue. F. I was able to glue one of the little plastic things because it was in here, and I can't find the other one. I think I threw that away or whatever. But um. I was able to glue and it looks tight so far. Now, I don't have the other thing to hold this down, hold one of the keys down. So what I'm gonna try, I tried to do the um, the screw trick. I'm gonna post, once again, I'm gonna post the links to the other um, pages that um, tell you how to take your keyboard apart and like those who have having problems with the keys and crap like that. Um, I guess this is too small. So it's, it's not gonna work. So what I'm gonna try is a twisty try, a twisty twist tie. Um, it comes with your trash bags. Well, I don't know if they do anymore, but they come with your trash bags. You can also buy them from the dollar store, I think. This one came from Dinner Rose. A bag of Dinner Rose. So um, oh man, my song on switched on me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this under here. And I'm going to. This is going to be crazy. Put that just there. Uh -huh. Come on, stop being difficult. All right, so we're going to tie it. Let's tie it in. Tight, tight. Alright, then I'm gonna stick it 
through the hole. Shut up, shut up, shut up. See, I, I thought a, um, a small screw would work. Ain't nothing wrong with a small screw. Anyway, um, I thought a small screw would work, but I guess not because I need a long screw. Eh, it's nothing wrong with a long screw any either. Okay. Get it lined up. And I fixed it. It's a little lifted up, but some people might not like that. So what I'm gonna try to do? Oh crap, man! All right, yeah, that would be smarter, right? So we're gonna put it, stick it through this hole. So you, my friend, you get back in there. Once again, be careful when you're handling this keyboard because it is very fragile. And I was watching one of the videos on fixing the keyboards, and the guy said, one of the guys said, um, just because you paid a lot of money for something doesn't mean it's all that good. And um, referring to this, that is the case. Because this was Akai's first product with the MPK, and I hope they got all the design flaws and crap like that figured out, because... I have my eye on that new MPK that's about to come out. It's red. It's up to date. And I just hope it's better than this. Sounds like somebody's awake. It is 4.54. We have been working on this for almost four hours. Well, four hours, you could say. And... See how I tied it to the back? Twist it tied down. Now also, if you're gonna take these off and did what I didn't clean under it, these little screws will require like an eyeglass repair kit or something like that. And look. Mm. Oh crap. What in the world? not we'll see how it comes out like let me just put the other key in here to see how it uh 12 11 10 9 8 7 b since i had a chance i just went ahead and, and started cleaning this off cleaning these I had um, letters on them so I could remember which letter is the key and I had them on for about two years now so better to clean it off. I found an old sock and I figured an old sock would probably be better cleaning it off because the paper towels were going just like that so and I figured since I'm basically refurbishing this thing why not make it look brand new yeah somebody is upstairs
a big ring with the key next to it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yeah, I'm going to have to press down on this. I'm tired. It's going on five hours. I didn't think it would take this long. I really did not think. I thought I would have this done in an hour. I didn't even take a break. I, well, I took like a a five minute break, if that. Um, I fixed the. Uh, is it this one? Yeah, I fixed the. I was able to get it back together. So that wasn't that hard. I really, really hope this was worth all this time. So, it's time to screw it back on together. I'm just going to put it all the bed together. I'm not even going to hook anything up. Actually, I might do that. I might hook it up first. I don't know. But, I'm going to put everything back together, and I'll let you know what happens. Just got back from lunch. I said I took an hour off to watch, to catch up on The Walking Dead. As well, I just needed some time. Alright, so I'm about to hook it up. Like, should short everything back here. All right, so we're going to plug it up. Wrong one. Crap! This should be. So, I mean, I got to take this thing back apart because this ain't reaching. Pull, pull. Good. Okay. All right. See, I don't, we have this little black and red wire here. That's um, it's a strip. I would say this is your sensitivity wire. Well, I, I told you how long. Um, I did say earlier that um, the blue keys control the black keys. I mean, the, the blue keys on the back of those that thing was the uh, the black keys, but it's actually for both keys. So there's a strip that goes under here, and that strip. I am guessing controls like if you lightly touch it versus if you like that. So I was gonna put it back together before crap before I um put that there. I was gonna put it back together before I test it out, but um So no, it did not fix it. So we took it apart and the problem is still not fixed. So we did all that, spent six hours. Though this one did get better, although. I don't know what else it could be. I really don't know what else it could be. This crappy design flaw, I guess. Uh, 
I give up. Akai, I don't think I will be purchasing that new MPK 49 that's about to come out. I'm going to be switching over to the Amorio, which I should have done in the first place. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching this tutorial, whatever. If we didn't fix this, at least we cleaned the keyboard up. We got some dust out, so if you guys are having dust issues or some other problems, then you need to take apart your keyboard. I guess some part of this will help. I mean, maybe it'll help you, maybe... I don't know. This still functions the way it's supposed to. Uh, all right, it, it's time for some rest. Peace. Thank you for watching. There'll be more tutorials to come. Not dealing with this piece of, but uh, four hundred dollars down the drain, or five. I can't remember how much I paid for it. But thank you guys for watching. Um, it's day three. <laughs> day three, that's funny. It is day three, though. Um, all right, so on day one, I already wrapped up. I already wrapped it up. I was like, you know what? I had put, put the thing back together, and it didn't work. So I was like, you know what? Thank you guys for watching. And I did my little closeout, outro, or whatever. And then I was like, wait a second. If you had to put electrical tape on the pads, then maybe you have to do something like that with the keys. So, I went to 7-Eleven. They didn't have any electrical tape. So, I was like, you know what? I got duct tape at the house. Fine. So, got some duct tape. And I started rolling them up like this. Like, started rolling them up like this. And... It worked so far. Ah! Why do you guys you always do this to me? Oh, I turned it down. Sorry about that. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six. There's electric there's duct tape under this one. Duct tape under this one. Now with this one, I put duct tape on, I put this little piece of duct tape on it, it didn't work. So I was like, crap man, maybe it's not that. So, I thought, I said, alright, you got a piece of cardboard somewhere. And I was like, alright, let me try cutting it up into strips. And this is what I did, exactly what I did. Do I really want to take that off? Alright, let me use a damaged one, because I really don't want to take that off. I say, oh, good. Oh, I gotta take it off. Crap. The f okay. So what I did was, because in the black keys, there's not like a support like on the white. Like see on the white, you have double. You have double here. And what you do have actually. Alright, so the white just has an extra stem. This doesn't. So I was like, you know what? Let me try. So I cut a piece of cardboard like so and I stuck it in there. This way, so it gives it that extra support on the end, here and here. So, I stuck it in there. Now, if this thing doesn't work, I put it back on. Put that there. You want to be careful with these little things. 
Yes, that's why you want to be careful with it. But you want to be careful with these little things because they will hurt your finger. And look at that. Perfect. All right, so this one I act with someone. I want to act up a little bit. The object of the game is to touch it lightly. This one is giving me a little, so I can give you guys a live example. This is probably going to be the longest freaking tutorial ever. But, if your keyboard's messing up, I'm sure you can use it. Now, I was plucking these little things out by, by hand, and it started hurting my thumb, so I was like, you know what, F, F that. The only bad thing is, you gotta take out two keys to get your black key out. Like so, and like so. Like for real, I thought this thing would be like five minutes. I think it's turned into about a half hour. See, it sort of forms like that. And I think that's cool. So after many, 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 many hours, all it took was some cardboard, some tape. Now, the bad part is that I have to do that for all of these keys because eventually it's going to happen. So I'm monstrous since I have this, might as well do it since I have this whole thing apart. I might as well take everything, which I, it took me hours to take these all off. So I'm going to... Take them all off. See, look at this. Let's do another live example. I like to do the examples because the examples show me if that's really what the problem is. Be careful with your springs. Take that out. See what what got me thinking that electrical tape or something can fix it because if you press on it, it works just well. So sometimes ideas just pop in your head. Probably gonna have to make that more sturdier. Can we put two of them in there? Yes, we're gonna put two for this one. Something so simple as a cardboard, a piece of cardboard can help you fix your problems. They say duct tape fixes everything, but uh, it really doesn't. Mm -hmm. 
All right, it's like now, it's like now since I started fixing the other keys, since I started fixing some of the keys, the other keys just stopped working. Like. Ah. So I put this, this is the key I was last working on. Crap. Alright, so what I'm going to have to do basically, I'm going to have to go through all of them. So, um. Alright, after a few more hours, I decided to replace all of them. So we don't have any examples of the strips. So Alright, so I cut the strips. Did that, and they fit. Oh, this was the tape. We're not going to use the tape no more. So what I decided to do is put the strip in each key. See, they fit right there. I cut them down. Let's see if I can cut with the left. Ah, yeah, he was able to do it. <laughs> What's that sound? Um. Alright. I cut a new strip. Don't gotta be cut that long. Cut as much as like that. It's a little strip like that. See? Put the strip in there like so. Sort of bend it just a little bit. Then bend it over. Okay. And you want it to form like a box. Come on. Like so. So you see that? So it fits like a bar, a box. So this is with it, that's without it. So these is like your support. And I basically did that for all the keys. Now with the black keys, now the, the problem is mostly with the black keys but I discovered that the problem could arise in the white keys. Okay. See, it's, you want it to make like a square, so if you need to use another piece, you can. But don't overdo it. This is being difficult right now. Okay. And I know already this is going to be the longest tutorial probably on YouTube right now, but I'll, I'll do a shorter version using the footage I already used. I will not take this thing apart again. There we go. So like that. You want it to be like that. Okay. Then... Get your little springy thing. Put it in like show. Now the white I put on um, duct tape. These just that's duct tape. Duct tape on these pieces. These are the pieces I have trouble with. And now let's see how they play. It's excellent, so it works. So I'm gonna put this thing back together. 
Alright, so it's time to wrap up this tutorial. It's fixed, finally. After a while, it took about a few days. Um, it took about a week to finally do this production. But um, yeah, it's fixed. I can play my keyboard the way I want it. Da -da. See the keys? They're nice, just the way I want it. They work. I'm happy. So, um, if you do come across this problem, then the problem is it's a pad. A pad. Um, show the picture. That, um, under that, well, that blue part, you press down on that and that's your, that what makes your key sound. Alright, but the part under the keys, there's a part under the keys, it's not, there's like a little, you could say square or cross type thing, but it's not strong enough. Over time it is going to get weak. It's, over, well, basically over time it's not going to be strong enough to push the keys down. So this is probably going to happen with uh, a lot of keyboards. I'm sure Akai probably fixed it. Um, I basically, my warranty's out, and um, it actually started messing up when the warranty was oh, going out, so um, yeah, and you see the white, these are, these keys I was having problems with. That was freaking brilliant! And that wraps up this tutorial, so I can finally play another freaking problem when you press the now octave, it, uh, so. Anyway, thank you for watching. More to come. I'm probably going to have to write this up because this is like the most unorganized tutorial ever. I done had like five wardrobe changes. I'm out. But thank you for watching. Peace. Let me, let me do it to him.